Hello, how are you doing? You all right? Back again for another top five match worn shirts. I hope you're ready. Okay, so a bit of a request, bit of a follow on from last week. Um, so we talked about West Germany. Here we have the last ever East Germany shirt. That's right. Hirono Eddie said, uh, Doug, let's have a look at some Cold War stuff. So I'm giving you a bit of a treat today with the last ever DDR shirt. When the draw was made for Euro 92 in February 1990, East were drawn with West. By August of that year though, the East German uh, Parliament had, you know, reunification was happening, but it was too late to cancel the September match against Belgium. So instead of it being a Euro 92 qualifier, they just turned it into a friendly match. And this beautiful piece of Adidas design was worn in that last ever match. East Germany won 2-0 in Brussels thanks to a late double salvo from the great Matthias Sammer with uh, only taking a makeshift squad of 14 players to Belgium. This particular shirt was worn by Locomotive Leipzig defender Torsten Kracht who uh, came on late on number 13. The DDR had never qualified for a Euros but they had played at the World Cup in 1974, famously beating West Germany in that one and only meeting between the two. Uh, but they had a great team at this time. We've got Uwe Rosler, Thomas Doll, and obviously Sammer. They'd come very close to qualifying for Italian 90 as well. Uh, but then reunification came along uh, and this was it. There was a planned reunification match uh, for November of 1990, but that was canceled due to crowd trouble, which meant that this is it. The last ever shirt from the last ever match uh, of East Germany. Doesn't get much more historical than that for you. And if one last ever wasn't enough, we've got another one. The last ever shirt uh, from the last ever game of the Socialist Federal Republic of Yugoslavia played against uh, Holland in March 1992. I mean, this is an absolute world-class design. Same as worn at Italia 90, but with long sleeves. I mean, you just add into the class there with that. Yugoslavia were preparing for Euro 92. They finished top of the group. They're on their way to the finals in Sweden, uh, but lost here to the reigning champions, uh, Holland, with uh, Vouters and Kieft making it a 2-0 win for them. This particular shirt was worn by the partisan defender Budimir Vujicic. But then shortly after this match, FIFA suspended Yugoslavia from international football, which meant they weren't allowed to play at Euro 92. You all know what happened. Denmark got off the beach and went and won the trophy. The national team did not return to action after this March 92 game until December 94, and a fixture with Brazil. But by that time, they were just the Federal Republic of Yugoslavia. Dropped that socialism, um, and they... The next international tournament they took place in was qualifying for the 1998 World Cup. So a lot of football missed, but you know, in a way, they really stamped their mark on on history with this absolutely stunning design. Could look at it forever. Um, it is an Adidas Ventex production, the same as the East Germany one. If I show you them both turned inside out, they've got this fleece lining on the inside. Two absolute belting shirts to sign off as a nation with adidas at their best in the early 90s okay that's enough for the history lesson uh, let's bring it up to date with an, a modern conflict barcelona v psg it's all in the news now isn't it you know neymar and all that but what shirts were they both wearing in the 97 98 champions league that's what we're all bothered about obviously uh, and here we go barca started wearing kappa shirts in 1992 uh, and for 92 to 95, they released a special European shirt, but the replica version of it still had the Kappa logos on it. You know, we know those UEFA regulations by now. 95 to 97, um, they just took the Kappa logos off the normal design. But then for 97, 98, they got it right. Um, we had a special European shirt, and also it was the same spec as the replica shirt. You know, no Kappas on there. You could buy it. It's, it is the same as the replica shirt except uh, the kit man decides to uh, experiment with the star ball so for the first match uh, of Barca's 97-98 Champions League campaign they wear this bizarre uh, Champions League patch which is like if we compare it to what it should look like it's like we've unpicked the silver unpicked the silver parts of the patch and just 
just left the black outline. I mean, it, I like it, but I don't really know why they did it, to be honest. Because it, only for this match, I mean, you, Newcastle fans will remember it. You know, you remember that matchup. You remember Faustino Aspria uh, and the 3 2. And Barca fans, you probably don't want to. Um, but I don't know what they were doing with that style ball. Because after this match, it went back, well, went to the proper design that everyone else was wearing. Uh, Kitman probably got slap on the wrist from UEFA like don't don't mess about again with that this uh, this shirt was worn by the young defensive midfielder Albert Salades and you can see uh, this is really the only feature different from the replica shirt is you couldn't get a printed version of this and it's got that wonderful Kappa screen printed name set absolutely brilliant so yeah worn in that 3-2 thriller it, I mean they get the European shirt right and then they get dumped out in the group stages uh, you know Dynamo Kiev PSV Barca end up finishing bottom you might as well have a look while I've got them here so this is the the home and away from uh, the Champions League 97-98 of Barcelona this one worn against PSV this one against Newcastle great pair of Kappa shirts so what are PSG up to? Well, their new signing for this season was Eric Rabassand Ritana. Big money in 2017, big names in 97. Um, well, long names, I guess. But anyway, so this is their shirt from the 97 98 Champions League. Nike design. Um, well, why has it got no sponsor, you're asking? That is because this shirt is from the match at the Olympic Stadium against Bayern Munich. Now, let's bring up UEFA regulations again. They say that two teams can't play each other with the same shirt sponsor. So, Bayern, obviously, Opal, PSG are Opal. Let me grab the, the replica there. That's what, you know, that's the, the, uh, the sponsored one. So, they had to wear this uh, unsponsored shirt for this game. Classic shirt, not really a classic performance. They ended up losing 5 1 in Munich. So, let's just move on to the. Uh, Comparisons between the uh, the match shirt and the replica. So you can see, um, obviously, Opal sponsor on there. Even on the shirts where the Opal sponsor was worn, though, you wouldn't have this company logo. That would have to be removed for the Champions League matches. Uh, you can also see, like, a, I think we've had a look at these before with the, the Nike shirts from this time. You'd have no size patch uh, on the lower front of the match shirt. If we look closely on the, on the numbers, you'll see that the uh, LFP... Like the league logos are being covered up by little squares uh, as to not conflict with the Champions League. They've also removed the uh, the PSG logo from the sleeve. That doesn't fit on for a European shirt. But that is about it. That's all you get for your differences. Look out for that on your, on your Nike shirts from this time. If you haven't got the size patch on the lower front, probably a player issue shirt, which is a, will be a treat. Now, I'll finish with a request. Jarrett H6 has been asking for a while to see some San Marino goalkeeper shirts. Get your 3D shirt glasses on and sit back and enjoy that. I mean, that is wild. Wild designs. Uh, where should we start? We'll go with the 90, the 92 shirt. So this this one here, uh, made by Admiral, is from San Marino's first ever World Cup qualification competition. Yeah, they finished bottom of the table, but they drew with Turkey and scored that famous early goal against England. Um, this shirt, though, it did concede 46 goals in that campaign. These shirts haven't made many saves, to be fair. I mean, they're mostly used to pick the ball out of the net, but they look great. Um, and, you know, they're trying to put the goal, the, the strikers off. You know, could blaze a shot over the bar when you see this. Um, look at that design from Admiral. A uh, little flock crest and Admiral logo there. Love the 90s padding on the sleeves. It's, Something that you really miss today is this great chunky padding on the shoulders as well. Let's have a look at the other one. So this is uh, now made by Verma, the Italian brand, uh, took over as manufacturer for the Euro 96 qualifying campaign, but kept the designs equally stand out and crazy. Um, and still kept that padding on there, look at that. Um, this shirt was worn by Pierluigi Benedetti, who was a part-time bus driver. Um, don't think he drove the team bus. This shirt was worn in a 4-1 defeat to Finland. Could have been worse. They did lose 10-0 to Norway in this campaign. Great pair of shirts from the early 90s, San Marino, and they're just making their way out in the international scene. I'll leave it up to you, Jarrett, to decide which one you like best, Admiral or Verma. Tough call. That's this week's top five. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you saw something that you liked. If you didn't, 
please leave me a comment below and say, Doug, get this in next week or week after it, and I will do my best to do it. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and I'll see you soon for another top five. Cheers.